So it is a wonderful, prosperous, and a glorious Tuesday. I got the twins with me, dropping them off at the bus stop. Well, one of the twins uh, asked to hear the kids' bop version of uh, Astronaut in the Ocean. And um, I can kind of quietly hear him singing in the background. I was like, I'm gone. So I was like, God, sing it to me. You gotta sing it loud so the vlog can hear. Okay. What you know about going down the deep break of the lake? I don't think it's going to be but put that thing in slow motion. I feel like I should die. Oh, oh, did you forget the words? Huh? Oh, well, you did good for what part that you knew. What, oh, does Kai move his hands? Oh, I was watching the road. What, uh, you said you know why he moves his hands like that? You don't know why? Ask him. Are you sneezing, Kai? What's happening? Oh. I mean, constant running nose. Constant. That chick All right, trends, fads come and go, especially when it comes to your health and wellness. Noom is not a fad, baby boy, baby girl. They use psychology, not trends, to help you make intentional and sustainable choices that are aligned with your values and your weight loss goal. You understand me? I'm a big boy. Uh, the other day, Melissa and I went to a brunch. Oh, we did. And people said, Kev, you slimming down. And I said, yep. Yeah. I look great, and what did I do? Undo all that work, because the compliments get to me, of course, if people are telling me I'm slipping down, I've won. I look great, was I sucking in? Mm-hmm. Did I eat two dinners that night? Mm-hmm. I hurt myself working out last week, does that mean I need to stop eating right as well? Mm-hmm. Uh, and luckily for me, Noom don't make me feel bad, because Noom is like, hey man, you gotta get it together in your mind, brother. You got to get your mind. It's a psychology-based approach. It empowers you to build more sustainable habits and behaviors. All right, the program helps you understand the science behind your eating choices. Why do I feel like I have to have two breakfasts? Why do I eat a protein shake and then go to Chick-fil-A? I shouldn't do both. One was a breakfast, but I just used it as a drink. Stop chasing health trends and build sustainable healthy habits. Slash TV TV. TV TV. So we just finished TV TV. I'm on my way back into Target um, because I realized the shirt I have on has a bunch of stains and holes in it. I don't know how I pulled that off, but uh, it ain't right. I also think I got a ticket of shrines run through a yellow light. I do believe it turned red um, before I was able to, might have turned red before I got in the intersection, but I started gunning it when I saw it turn yellow. And then we have the red light cameras here. That thing was flashing. So first, I'm gonna peruse this section that I don't need to be in, and then I'm gonna get a shirt, and I'm gonna head to my shoot. So I bought a couple of shirts, and two pair of shorts, and a water bottle for my hair. <laughs> um, I'm proud of myself. I'm hungry, and I almost bought um, pizza, because there's a Pizza Hut in this Target. And I walked away, walked away. Um, so I'm gonna try to find me something a little less calorie and fat. Um, so anyways, I put it in my car. It's only gonna take me 37 minutes to get to where I'm working. So I'm trying to figure out what I can get from between here and there that'll Feeling not a bad choice. 
Sorry, I see somebody near my car. She better be getting in her car. And not in mine. We gonna have all types of tussling happening. Let's see. in her car. Listen, it's gonna be a fight. So, just wrapped the commercial. It is 6.07. Let's see how long it's gonna take me to get home. It says 53 minutes. So, I'm about to buckle in, listen to some music, probably make some phone calls, and uh, just cruise. Ain't no reason for me to be Worried about it. <clears throat> so yeah, I could use some Starbucks though, but we're headed home. Oh, and the shoot went great, it was simple. I spent most of the day just waiting and that was fine. I, I didn't mind. I literally, it took all of like 45 minutes to shoot all of my stuff, so I made it. for me it ain't that late anyway I uh, got up this morning what am I looking for for uh, what well, got up this morning worked out got Amar up got him ready took him to daycare came back took me a shower and uh, now I'm about to fix me some breakfast got me uh Pastrami style smoked Atlantic salmon. Uh, we actually got this for charcuterie, but I'm about to put it in this omelet that I'm about to make. And I got some, uh, went to eat by my lonesome the other day. And uh, they brought me two orders of uh, charred, what you call it? Charred uh, broccolini. So I'm gonna chop it, ooh, chop it up and put it in there too. Do we got mushrooms? I love me some mushrooms, y'all. We got mushrooms. Set this thing right. Ain't got no mushrooms now, but we got some peppers and onions, so I'm gonna chop them up, put them in there too. Make it right. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do it, do it right. If you ain't gonna do it right, don't do it at all. Peppers and onions. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm about to cook this up. Then I got a bunch of editing I gotta do. Uh, let us tell it. We had to shoot two episodes back to back yesterday because uh greg and them i gotta close the refrigerator lord greg and them gonna be out of town the following week so gotta edit that edit some more tasting with tank actually i gotta uh yeah chop those together and send the rest over so they can get ready for uh social media but i also need to put them on facebook because i ain't been doing that but anyway fam that's my update fix this good old breakfast i'll holler back to y'all in a second so this is the Native American Museum. I took a video of it because it has probably the most interesting architecture out of all the museums that we've been at because it's in layers and it goes out over each layer. This is, I guess, representing each Native American or what 
happened after and before the Americans happened in little items, I guess. I thought the museum was pretty cool. There was some really big, like, art and paintings um over there, which I couldn't, which I forgot to take a picture of. There are canoes that were from the north, south, east, and west. These are like posters and and canoes um paddles that they use. Those I think are supposed to be clothes that they use, uh, clothes and weapons and toys that they use. The Native Americans had. Um, I thought they're I thought they're pretty interesting of how they're made and, and stuff. These are how they told a history, like how cavemen told history by art and how. And now we are at the White House. Permission to go inside the White House while Biden was there. <laughs> Well, actually, you know, you know Fiona, Biden. right? He would get permission to go into the White House. He got that freaking letter from Biden. Oh, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Joe Byron. Oh, I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. So right now, we're at a World War II mor memorial. Sorry, I'm not been able to talk that much. It's just because... People have been talking and also have been quiet. Keep where areas were important to be quiet. Oh, you went there last time? I go here every time. I'm family. This wall has a bunch of quotes from Dr. Martin Luther King with a bunch of cherry blossoms around like the area. Um I don't remember a specific quote, but it had a whole bunch, I think about 20. This is the Black History Museum. Um, it talks about like the slave trade, the clothes, and it has art of what was happening during and after the uh, 13th Amendment. And that is a Native American hut that we got to see. There he is! Hi! Oh, look at his hat! <laughs> Hi! Oh, it's cute! Oh, I can't wait to hear about everything. Hold on, let me find out about. Hold on, I'll be right back.